You mean just record it? Yeah. All right, I'll call you after my. I'll do a shorty. Hi, this is Michael Savage on the. Um, well, it's a cold, horrible, rainy night, and I'm including you now in my. Although um, it's almost cooked, really. I'll try to keep the uh, camera steady. It's the soon-to-be-famous five-spice basil chicken. Unbelievable. You know, it's not a night to be out. Got everything here. I was going to go out. I decided not to go out. He wants to go out in the rain. Adding some shiitakes. Putting some basil on it. Drinking my wine. I could contemplate politics for you tonight. Mm. Ghislaine Maxwell was found guilty. I actually thought she was going to walk. The trial was, uh, something's wrong. They wanted her to be guilty, but... I mean, the question tonight is, before the devil knows you're dead, as I posted on Twitter and Facebook, for those of you who know the Irish saying, it's to, it says, make sure you're buried before the devil knows you're dead. Great movie with Philip Seymour Hoffman. One of my favorite movies of all time, by the way. Before the devil knows you're dead, make sure you're buried, you know. Irish saying, love the Irish, love their lyrics, love their literacy. They have given so much to the world until now. Now they've descended into just another EU totalitarian nation of nothingness. Here we are, the last bastion of freedom, if we can hold on to it, as Benny Franklin taught me. And so let's see how my chicken's going. And it's almost done, so it means I'm going to stop talking and start eating in a minute. So Ghislaine Maxwell, is that the biggest story? Not really. What is the biggest story of the day? Well, it's almost the end of the year. I'll have a no year, new year coming up. Aren't you glad you survived this year? Right. I am. I enjoy every minute of freedom. You know the freedom to just talk on this phone? Cook dinner, walk around, breathe the air. Not be tortured in a Pakistani prison. Not be beaten in a Muslim world. Do you realize how lucky we are? And how many men gave their lives and blood to, to Afghanistan until your hero, Joe Biden left them the most advanced military equipment on earth, but you forgot that already. Well, let's see if I can switch this around for you and show you me. How do you hit, I'm trying to hit the button and turn it around, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's not switching, but it looks brighter because I'm hitting the brightness spot. Anyways, Michael, soon to be famous, not yet famous, never will be famous, five spice basil chicken. You should see all the spices I use. I'll give you my secret recipe. Well, tarragon is number one for chicken. Turmeric when you're in the mood for it. A touch of paprika on a cold night. Fights off colds, flu. You must have the pepper. My favorite. Oh, you're lucky to live in Northern California and get some of this great food. Tarragon, as I said, always important. But um, a lot of garlic. This is the best. It's not Monterey pepper, it's uh, Fresno chili. Right. Fresno peppers, Fresno. Fresno. Thank God for the Mexican people and the farmers in that area. I've learned some amazing food tricks. It's a fusion cuisine. <laughs> fusion cuisine. It's like Bronx, California, Jewish Mexican cooking. <laughs> I really want you to see my smiling face because I'm so goddamn good looking I can hardly take it. I'm the best looking old guy in the history of the world. No, come on, I can't even make it go around, I don't know. Don't you tap it and it changes the parameters? It won't change. Anyway, I'm joking around because, look, cooking well is the best revenge and having the body, having your body able to enjoy every bite of food you know what a miracle that is for all the sick people on earth? Look at the complexity of this five-spiced basil chicken that I made. God. Mmm. Mmm. you enjoy my wine? 
I'm speaking with a very important person today who I won't mention because I respect his anonymity. And we're planning a March 31st special because if God wishes, it's all up to Hashem, God. If God wishes, I will live to March 31st and see my 80th birthday, which I never thought I would see, honestly. You know, I'm having a lot of tragic sense of mortality all over again. I've had it since I'm five years old. God put me on earth to feel all these things and keep going. And uh, after we buried Teddy a couple of weeks ago, and you see the little thing going on the ground, you know, you realize, right? I know we try to push it out of our heads. And this is a chicken, just like Teddy, right? It's not like Teddy. Chickens are not poodles. We're not chickens nor poodles. We're different than all of them. We have the divine spirit in us. Despite the debased Kardashian and the debased vermin in the media, despite the debased filth and garbage that promotes this trash day and night, day and night, CNN, another child molester under investigation, another producer, this one of Jake Tapper. Oh, we're not implying Jake Tapper's got this. Any dirt? Not at all. Just this producer is under investigation by the Fairfax County Police Department. Child services. What's this with the children in CNN? Oh, what is it? You see, here's what I've discovered about liberalism. Extreme liberalism. I'm a nice guy. I believe in helping the poor, the sick, and the injured. But the more they scream about it, the more they scream about helping the poor and the downtrodden and the this one and the that one, the more they're afraid of being caught. At least that's me, with my little view of the world, my small view of the world. You know, I haven't done that badly in the world. I have a world view that people do appreciate. But I think they doubt, they protest this too much, all of them. Mm. I didn't waste that one, did I? No, I moistened it a bit. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. I'd love you to have, I'd love to have you over for dinner, but you know, it's impossible. I wish I could turn it around. I even left the whole lemon in there tonight. Oh, God, look at that chicken. God, it looks good. Mm, wait. See, no pink. One tip. No pink chicken. It's like no wire hanger. No pink chicken. No pink seafood. I don't care what the stupid cooks say. Never, ever eat pink seafood. You want to eat steak tartare? Be a schmuck. Go ahead, eat steak tartare. Vote for Joe Biden. Playing Russian roulette. I'm still trying to switch it so you can see me, but I can't make the switch. Tapping, scrolling up, scrolling down. See? Lost the light. Anyway, mm. Sorry for talking while cooking. This is Michael Savage's, soon to be famous, never will be famous, five spice basil chicken with potatoes and a little white wine on a beautifully rainy evening in Northern California where there was no longer any drought and a snowpack almost equal to the... Uh, People who got uh, ate each other up on Immigrant Gap. But don't tell that to the San Francisco newspapers. They want to keep you thinking that this is also part of uh, climate change. <laughs> These naive, are they naive, stupid, or propagandists? They're all three. All I got to say is this. Mm. In 49... The miners came. In 51, the whores. In 53, there came the native sons of the Golden West. Now, I didn't write that. Because I'm just an interloper from the Bronx. Mark Twain wrote that. In 49, the miners came. In 51, the whores. In 52, there came the native sons of the Golden West. And most of them worked for the San Francisco Chronicle. Have a very, very nice evening. Bye-bye.